Hey there, Ulti Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Chameleon Twist 2. In the last episode, we did Iceland, and this episode, we're going to Great Edoland. Looks like we'll be fighting birds with swords. I think those are birds, at least. Hello. It's a lot of fun. You speak kind of funny. I am not practicing. I refuse. I will be perfectly fine. Yep, this is definitely Japan land. In case that wasn't... In case it wasn't obvious from, like, the buildings. Ah! What? Okay, the speed... <laughs> the power-ups are really disorienting sometimes when you forget, like... Yep, I just grabbed a power-up. Okay, the building fell out from under me. That I was not expecting. What are these? Are they noses? I can't tell. They're moving too fast. I'm going to ignore them. Alright, now I feel like I'm playing Sky Sands from Kirby Air. Okay, I'm moving fast again. See, what I mean is, like, I... Because there's, like, no sound effect, really, for, like, the... You know, like, Mario Kart, like... Like... I don't know, I guess it's just... I forget that it's even going to happen. And then it just speeds me up, and it's like, oh my god! Especially because some of the other ones don't do a goddamn thing to you that's nearly as noticeable. meant by a variety of techniques. Alright, I'm just going to ignore the evil things surrounding me. Oh, this is... I'm doing this again. Just like in the first game. Lighting torches. Lighting torches, and they are just like last time. They are only temporary. So I need to keep moving. This basically is like a rehash of that idea. Okay, fine. Come over here. Got past. Okay, now I'm slow. What are these things? They're whatever they are, it's like they're holding water coolers. I can't tell. They're moving around too fast. They might be like a mice head or something. Alright, Rebella, hey. up. Slow down. Okay. I could no longer jump. I just kind of like sat there like. Okay. The, the buttons in this game still kind of confuse me. Okay, I wasn't expecting that either. Faces, or whatever the heck those were. Okay, goodbye, cruel world. 
Hello? Alright, well this is gonna make this incredibly obnoxious if I have to wait the entire time before I get platforms to jump on. I like this level though so far. It really feels also like this game is really letting itself get challenging. Cause like, the previous game... Oh, I got a full heal from that, nice. The previous game, I would argue, didn't really truly get challenging. I mean, I guess, okay, let me rephrase. There were parts of it... Oops. There are definitely parts of it that were harder than before, but, like, overall, like, the difficulty of the game didn't feel like it really f made you do a lot of the more complicated maneuvers and stuff. In order to get through, it just kind of... Like, you, there were the harder maneuvers to do, but, like, a lot of them were for bonus optional content. Stuff like the crowns and stuff. In this game, it's kind of like make wanting you to do that kind of stuff just... flat out so you can proceed through the level, and I think that's really interesting. The only thing I can really remember that's kind of, that was kind of like that was that area of Desert Palace that tripped me up for... forever. But even then, I think, if I recall correctly, that was mainly just for a crown. So yeah, it is interesting. What's going on here? Oh, was it showing me like a... Okay, you know what? I can't even leave. I wasn't paying attention! I'm sorry! I didn't know to look for stuff like this. Okay, next time, pay more attention to my surroundings. I got you covered. Yeah, I, I like the- okay, fast again. I like the design of these levels, though. Whee! I don't care, I got the coin! Whee! This is really- like, the mechanics so far are just really creative and enjoyable. Oh, I have three carrots. That's right, I got a third one on the Lenny face area. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> really? That pin was moving. I'm sorry, that should have fallen down. Alright, I got a spare. Uh, is it just gonna- is it really flat out just a freaking bowling game? A full-on- full-fledged bowling game? That is hilarious. I'm- I'm just playing bowling now. Bowling in ancient Japan. That was way... that was not straight. I was not going straight at all. I don't know why the ball keeps, like, going to here. Apparently I'm not aiming straight, even though I feel like I am. It's really messing me up. Well, I wasted that spare. I already wasted it the first time, anyway. Stop appearing over this way! Oh, I can move... okay. I can move it with the C-stick. Why are you doing this? Oh, 
Okay. Now that I know that you move it with that C stick, though. I guess that's why it has the 10 ball. Oh, I can change the weight of it by up and down. Okay. Let's go purple. This is just a full-fledged bowling minigame. This is great. Why do you keep doing this to me? In real life, that would have moved. I do not know how I was still to the left of that. And again, I still have, n I have no idea how it was to the left of that. I mean, to the right. I'm so Directions are still hard, okay? Okay. I will get a strike. Let's go with the 16. Those not get knocked down. Well, now I got a split. That's annoying. I think I might be going too heavy on the ball. Let's go down a little bit. I'm not gonna be able to hit both of these. I'm not gonna hit either of these. It is really hard to aim. I feel like I'm aiming it okay, but then it just doesn't go the direction I want it to. This is really silly that this is a thing, though, that I'm doing. Just playing bowling. Now I'm not really hitting a whole lot of pins. I think I was doing better with the bigger balls. Heavier balls, really. They're not any bigger. How did that go straight?! How in the world did that go straight? There we go! <laughs> I found the winning solution. Alright, come on, turkey. No! Okay. Well, I know where to stand. How is that? Okay. Whatever. Do did not get the last. Oh, I. Okay. Best score is one fifty. That was a fun little mini distraction. I wonder if because I have two carrots at all, it will let me select that kind of mini game from like a title screen or something. Oh, I guess again, it doesn't matter. I don't have a save. I did not jump. Kind of a shame, because I had super speed. That would have made it much easier to actually get to where I wanted to be. Huh? Did it just skip me past that section? Oh. Okay. I think it's just skipped me past that section. I can't tell because I can't look the camera backwards. But I'm pretty certain that's what it did. Oh, 
Okay. Of course, there's a tiny little platform sitting here. Why wouldn't there be? So this is just gonna take me back up. This is actually kind of hard. It's hard because I'm not really like mentally used to the move yet. Like, it's not something I did in Chameleon Twist 1 at all, so I have no, like, real frame of reference, so it's like... I was not expecting to land on that. Good news is I don't need to wait for the platforms, which makes the platforms really weird why they're there at all. Didn't need it, but whatever. Also interesting is that you don't use up the carrots. So I think there's only so many in the game. Also, I, I see why the, it's weird for me. It's because I'm jumping to get my thing hooked on the bamboo at, at all. And I was holding... God damn it. I'm holding on to the like the A button and the B button, the B button to to use the tongue and the A button to because I was jumping. But you need to press the A button again to do that. I know I can do this. It's just like it's a matter of like really understanding I like that tongue move, though. Now that I really understand, like, what I can do with it, it's really useful! here is that, like, okay, this is gonna be really annoying. So you want to do the first, you want to do all three in a row, and then you want to do, this. that's that's the main mistake I've been making, I guess, is just that I've been kind of hopping on all of them, but like you want to skip the middle one when you're going back to the left. Okay, that makes it a little bit <laughs> better if you like, don't be stupid about it. Okay. The slowdown method is... Not ideal.
Well, this will at least make getting back here, get, getting back out of here, more tolerable. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <sighs> I'm just gonna kill myself. It'll be faster. And I get this one here, cool. Might as well get the coin now that I all went all the way up here. This level is longer than the last one. That is for sure. Didn't the same thing happen with Chameleon Twist 1, where, like, Bombland was super short compared to all the other levels in level 3? I beat Iceland really quickly. Okay. move. And actually, this is kind of similar to Desert Palace in that, like, what the heck? Why did I go right through the thing? Whatever. It's kind of similar to Desert Palace in that, like, there are maneuvers in this level that are giving me problems. God damn it. I am having so many problems with this. There we go! Jeez! Please let the boss be right here, because I want to be done with this. How you doing? He's pretty strange. Yeah, okay. I like how, like, the ripple weirdness effect doesn't actually affect, like, the entire screen, so you can kind of see what's going on behind... behind you. It's a frog! A Rayman Frog! There are all these colored f flames. Is there one in particular I want to use? Or are they just there for aesthetic? I only got hit by that. Okay, they're probably just there for aesthetic. Okay, stop jumping, buddy. I know you're a frog, but it's rather annoying. I feel like I'm missing something with this fight. What if I get him to eat the fire when he's trying to eat me instead. I guess this is the main difficulty of this one, is that, like, there's not a whole lot of, like, weaponry to use, comparatively, so you can't, like, machine gun him to death like you could the others.
Okay, so... He... Him... Okay, he jumped on me. Him tonguing the other fires does nothing. Good to know. Hello, buddy. I don't like this guy. Although he's much easier to hit in this face. Uh, I say and then completely whiff. I don't like when he goes underwater. out of the water. Let me hit you. This guy feels like he's just designed to waste your time. Go away. Die, stupid J Japanese frog. And by that, I mean, I guess, shrink and dissolve into a puff of smoke? Alright. Fifteen coins. Alright, next time... We're going to Toyland, everybody. So... Yep. Yeah. See you guys then. We're almost done with this game. And I am enjoying it.